Acromag's new Busworks NT series is an expandable Ethernet remote I.O. solution for a mix of up to 64 analog, discrete, or temperature signals. There are two model types. NTE models provide the Ethernet interface plus up to 16 I.O. channels. NTX expansion models allow you to connect additional I.O. channels of any signal type as needed at a reduced cost. NT series you can expand locally by appending NTX mod I.O. modules or you can daisy chain remotely between NTE units to eliminate switches. You can also daisy chain NTEs with one or more NTX modules attached. So I want you to note that on the NTE units, one RJ45 port is on the top and one port is on the bottom, but you can't see it. Operating temperature range for extreme climates. The rugged enclosure has removable terminal blocks with the forward facing screws that are popular on our XT series. It stands up to uh, shock, vibration, noise, and surges for highly dependable service and the NT2000 units are intended for use in hazardous locations with uh, a variety of global cert safety certifications now pending. Uh, the illustrations here show how modules link together. Uh, the bus connector has an eight pin connector plug on one side and a mating socket on the other side. So they just put together, you can see the pins here on these and then here's the result once they're snap together and you can see the NTE extends a little bit farther forward. So like the 900 EN series, the NTE modules have an embedded web server that hosts an HTML configuration page. You can use any web browser to access this web page. The various tabs uh, shown here allow you to set up different operating parameters. Um, the network setup screen here is where you select the desired protocol. That's this pull down menu right here. Now here you see examples of some setup pages for a discrete IO module. On the left here um, are the IO operating parameters. Note how you have slot zero for the NTE ethernet module. And then below it detects slots one to three below if NTX expansion modules are attached. For each module, you select the channel and then set uh, the options individually. To the right, we see the counter setup screen. Now, these fields are actually on a different tab, you know, here, but I put them together uh, for simplicity. Again, you select the slot and then the channel and then pick the desired options and then continue on to consecutive channels. Now, the I2O messaging capability is very popular for peer-to-peer -peer communication. An input channel on one unit can write directly to an output channel on another unit based on a change of state, uh, time duration, or the amount as a percent of change. The NT series improves this capability with easier setup uh, for multiple or consecutive channels. So you don't have to do it all individually. Now, you may have noticed that the I2O logo is a little bit different. That is because NT units can now also support multicast messaging for one-to-many group communication. You can set up the units as a sender or as a listener for the target IP address. 